about the other modules. I don't know that they are all outsourced or Excellent. once I download, I have all the other modules. Let me say the lingo, the word, or it's about me to select the modules to install. So at the moment, so out of the modules I mentioned, um, Medic have their patient view, which is in beta. You can get the whole package from the medic.frontlinesms.com site. If you go to frontlinesms.com, all you get is the basic download. You don't get any of those plugins. Um, most of those plugins are still being developed, so credits in alpha. Legal only launched a couple of months ago, so they're, they're still working on theirs. Learn only raised its money about two months ago. Radio is being written with computer science students at Cambridge University in England, so those are all new ones currently under development. What we hope to have next year is on the, on the front of SMS website, you'll go to the site, you download the main platform and you tick a box to say, I want the legal one, I want the credit one. We're not there yet. What's actually happened is the developers have started building all these things too fast for us. We weren't expecting to have all of these things, so we're trying to catch up. But if you go to frontlinesms.com, you'll get the, the core platform, and then on the community, you can read about all the other bits that we're adding. Like the mapping will announce properly in about a month. Thanks for the question. Um, this also goes to the frontline SMS. Once I download the program, can I use the application instead of uh, sending the, the messages to phones through the telephone network, can I create my own ad hoc network and still send the messages by using the file transfer protocols and uh, IP addresses of certain phones? Um, if I understand the question correctly, the frontline SMS only currently will interact with an attached GSM device. So you can only send and receive through that. You can, you can, get, you can create messages in other places and pass them into our software, which will then text them for you. So you can have a platform that generates text, but those leave the platform only via an SMS. And everything that comes into the platform has to, has to start off as being an SMS. So there's no other way of getting anything in or out of the platform currently other than SMS. Because the main, the main user of the platform originally was people without the internet or without many, much technical ability. There's no reason why you couldn't extend it though if you had a need to do what you just mentioned. But the, the platform we provide doesn't do that yet. Quick note, Frontline SMS operates on user needs. So if this is something that a lot of people desire, let, let Ken let the developers know. And you know, if, if enough people want it, he will knock it up and you know, prioritize it on the list of next features to be added. Right. Um, just one. Yeah. If if I'm not happy with just one one of those apps there on your frontline SMS, but I want to let me say re-engineer it in my own way to drive at my own results. Do you give me the users in, especially the developer, that opportunity to change something that you already have, code-wise? Yeah. So everything, all the core platform is open source, apart from the Java app that runs on the phone that does a data collection. We, we had to leave that with the, the people that wrote the code, but everything that runs on the computer is fully open source, so you can take that off SourceForge. There's a little, little link on the website for developers, there's a link to the SourceForge page from there. So what you can do is you can join the, the Google group for the developers and you can speak to other developers. Most of the people writing those plugins that I mentioned, Radio, Legal, Learn, and so on, they're all going to be external developers doing their own work. So you can tap into those people. There's a user community. You can go onto the, the community link on the website. There's about 1,700, 1,800 members in there. You post something to say, I'm interested in doing this, this, or this. Anyone else interested? Last week, somebody started a post about radio. And this is lots about four or five pages now. And it's just, everyone's joining in and chatting. So if you have an idea about what you might want to do with the software, you can kind of test the idea before you do anything by going to the community and, and you can search for people by country. You can search for all the users in Uganda and you could, could, you could send a message to them. And these are end users, as Sean mentioned. We've actually been very, very end user focused for the last five years and we're now starting to think more about developers, but um, hopefully that's answered your question. But all the source code is there. Yeah, you're welcome to, to pull it to pieces and make it work better. I think one of the beauties of open source software is that you don't have to recreate what somebody else has done. Um, and so, you know, that, that, that also means that you, know, you, don't, you don't have to build frontline SMS from scratch, but 
if there are other people working on a radio app that is of interest to you, uh, you know, this is something where you know, five programmers uh, are, are a lot more powerful than, you know, working on one thing are a lot more powerful than five programmers all working on five different things. So check out, see what people are doing right now, um, and if, if it aligns with what you're interested in, you know, try, to, try to work together with them.